Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Whoa, please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah Right, you guys, how are we and what is going on? Welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title, it's, um, shit. Pretty dramatic, but at the end of the day, the time has come. The time has come after six and a half long fucking years. I quit my job. I am officially unemployed. I quit my six figure salary. And I've decided to move myself and my life uh, back home. We're going home. We're going back to New Zealand. Back to Christchurch. For the foreseeable future. Jeez, life has been a roller coaster. If you've been following my journey, basically ever since my first daughter was born, um, you know, just on two years ago now, it has been. A fucking roller coaster. I'm not gonna lie, and I've I've made certain pivotal decisions throughout the last two years that's only made things harder. And I've learned a hell of a lot, and I've tried to achieve a hell of a lot. But at the end of the day, money doesn't make you happy, and happiness is key. So I have decided to uh, move back to New Zealand. The title of this video is I quit my job and I'm moving back to New Zealand. <laughs> and um, you know, I, 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 I'm just trying to explain um, how that's, that's happened. I think in future videos I will explain in more detail, but basically it just comes down to the fact that if I'm not happy, or if I'm not doing well, personally, uh, I'm going to be no use to, to anyone else. You know, you've got to love yourself before you can love anyone else. And so those are the kind of emotions I've been going through. And that's what's brought me to this decision. So it's not going to be a long video. I want to say I want to say thank you to everyone who has continued to follow my journey. I want to say thanks to everyone who's continued to show support on my videos, who who continues to enjoy my videos. Um, I've just been away for two and a half weeks in Thailand. Uh, you know, ticking something very very special off of my bucket list, which was training at Tiger Muay Thai in Phuket. Um, I've made a, a, a vlog series. I've got 10 vlogs whilst I was away um, that I'm putting together at the moment. There's nothing crazy. It's just me talking about my experiences throughout that time. Um, complete beginner, you know, no expectations. I did it for fun. I did it for the experience. But you know, I've got to say that I do have a big, a big passion for for the fight game. I love boxing. I, I love MMA. Um, I love not only UFC but you know all of the other promotions. I, I guess you could say I'm a little bit obsessed. That would have to be my favorite sport to follow at the moment. And so I, I just had to do it. I had to do it. I've got this massive interest in it. And so I went to Thailand, did that. Tick. Done. Now, uh, I'm back here in, in Alice Springs. You will see a, a video coming up about Major Key Physiques, about what we're doing with the brand. I'm moving back to New Zealand. And with me, my, my business is moving back to New Zealand. We're going to be a New Zealand based brand. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we can be a, a New Zealand-made brand as well. So, um, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna start backing my land, backing my home, my homeland, my country, and hopefully, in return, they can they can back me. You know, there's loads of things that has happened with Major Key Physiques. All of that will be coming up in a future video. Stay tuned for that. We will be reopening in May or June, um, and 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 that's that. So here I am. In Alice Springs, my, my sister has moved back to New Zealand already. She moved back in December. Um, my mum is still here. She's got a great job. She's staying here for the money, which is fantastic. That's something I did for years and years, but it's something I can just, I just cannot do anymore. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm too unhappy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Alice Springs moves at a certain pace. And if your life you know, lives on that pace, then you'd love it here. But that pace has just slowed me down way, way, way too much. And, and I'm looking to increase my pace, um, you could say. And, um, you know, I'm just looking to finally feel like I'm grounded. 
You know what I mean? That I don't have to think about where I'm going next or moving back here or paying that mortgage or, you know, having to go back to this job that gave me anxiety every fucking morning. But we will get into that. You know, I, I just I just want to feel grounded. And the most grounded I felt was was just recently back in Christchurch. And and I knew that that when I came back to Alice, I was going to do everything in my power to, to, to get back to Christchurch, just to, like I said, feel grounded. So today's video is titled like I said, I quit my job and I'm moving back to New Zealand. That's exactly what's happening. Um, I am moving everything back to New Zealand except for the furniture in this unit because I am renting this place out furnished. That's another thing, another headache that's been going on. I've been trying to find the perfect tenant at the perfect price. I put it up for rent four weeks ago. It was the, the price was clearly too high. I was too greedy. Now it's been four weeks of me paying a mortgage when I'm not even using this place. Um, it's really just becoming a massive headache, so I've brought the price down. I've had a couple of more open homes and, and hopefully we get a tenant soon, but I'm, I'm not going to hang around for that. Um, I'm actually going to, to head back to Christchurch fairly soon, within the next few days, and um, that'll be that. Now, it's March right now, in April. My two daughters are, are moving from Alice to Rockhampton with their mother. That means they're going to be on the, the east coast of Australia, which means it's going to be a hop, skip and a jump for me to, to see them. I'll talk about all that in future videos, but I just wanted to update you guys because today is a big day. All of my stuff is getting shipped today. It's all getting picked up. That means it's just me, a few clothes and my unit, my apartment, which I was considering selling. I really was. Um, at the start of this year, I had two apartments. I sold one because I needed to pay off some debt. Now, the reason I'd be selling this one would be to, you know, give me cash and give me, you know, opportunities to use that cash to do other things. But I've just decided to hold fire on that plan and just let it let it lease for another six or twelve months. Just see what the market does, and if there is no improvement in the market, you know, why would I be having my cash in an asset that's not moving? It's not doing anything. Um, except paying my mortgage. The reason you want an investment, the reason you want a tenant to live in your investment to pay your mortgage is because you're basically, you know, you're holding on to the property, your mortgage is being paid, and then at the end of the day, in 10 years' time, the value of the property, hopefully, you know, would have gone up a significant amount. You would have not outlaid any extra money, your mortgage would have been paid, and then you can, you know, just take that capital gains. Now, what's happened on both of my properties that I bought, unfortunately, you know, I, I, I did buy them at basically coming up to the peak of the Australian property market at the end of 2015. And um, now we're at the, the start of 2020, that's four and a half years later, and to be honest, the property market hasn't done much in the areas that I bought. So, learning experiences, you gotta put everything down to a learning experience. You either, you either win or you learn. And I'm gonna leave it at that. So guys, have a fantastic day. Take this as an update on what's happening. You will see my vlogs from Thailand. You will see plenty more reaction videos and um, you know anything else that comes to mind. So with all that being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.